<laughs> now for something a little bit more normal. Today's episode, as you've seen, is called Improve Night Vision. So, improving our night vision is something that we all want to do. It's something that you, will, a lot of people who wear glasses will notice if your prescription feels weak or um, you've just made a reduction in your prescription, you might notice when you're looking at lights and things like that in the dark that you see kind of a starburst, starburst effect happening uh, to lights. You might also find it more difficult to see into the distance when it's dark. This is completely normal. Obviously, our eyeballs are extensions of our nervous system which allow light rays to enter and then process that image in our brain and that is what we and that is what is our sight so obviously if there's less light we're going to see less so don't beat yourself up if you think that oh my night vision should be as good as my day vision it shouldn't that's completely normal we're not cats we're not nocturnal animals our vision as humans is supposed to be better in the day than nighttime However, you will notice as you improve your overall vision that your night vision will also improve. On my journey of improving my vision, I can remember when I was got to that 2040 mark and I was pretty much good to go about my daily business without glasses. But then when it came to night time, I was just not good enough to be able to see what I wanted to see if I was going out at night, going down to the shops or doing things like that I needed the assistance of glasses and then especially when I was driving I needed the assistance of glasses so what that lack of light at night time does is it magnifies or makes you more aware of the refractive error that's still present in your eyes so in a way you can use it as motivation to improve your eyes further because some people get satisfied that oh I can see okay during the day and that's enough but if you want to make your night vision good, you've also got to you've got to improve your overall vision, which of course will make your daytime vision better, which of course will also make your nighttime vision better. Lots of people wonder if there is supplements they can take or what type of diet they should do. Is there anything like that that can improve their vision? There are studies out there uh, suggesting that vitamin A is one of the key nutrients to support a healthy visual system. That being said... There's no evidence that taking a large quantity of vitamin A shows a increase in your visual acuity in the short, medium or long term. So it's definitely not recommended to go out and start taking lots of vitamin A. What I would say is that just make sure that you're getting an adequate amount of it so that you're not deficient in vitamin A and that will support your visual system. So myself, I've never noticed any difference uh, in my vision in the acute phase and short term of taking anything and noticing an improvement in my vision. As you know by now, if you've been following my channel, using weaker prescription glasses and active focus is what improves your vision. So this has definitely been the case for me and for my students as well. So uh, just like I say in all my other, other videos, that is what you need to do to improve your nighttime vision also. A remark to make on top of all of that is that perhaps you notice that your night vision isn't quite as good as it should be in comparison to your daytime vision. If that's the case, it's well worth practicing active focus in the dark. So for example, if there's shop signs, lamp posts, any landmarks or things that you use in the daytime to active focus on, try active focusing on, on them in the nighttime. You probably have to stand a little bit closer to get to the edge of your blur horizon, but it's still valuable to try active focusing in the nighttime. And you'll notice that it probably will help to improve your nighttime vision. It's uh, something that I have done and I've spoken about on my Instagram uh, stories about this. When I was just at that 2040 stage and improving a bit better, the most challenging time actually isn't complete darkness. It's that kind of twilight zone just when it's at dusk going from daytime into nighttime, that weird low light uh, level seems to pose the most problems. So I used to go for walks uh, for about 45 minutes, not every day, but from time to time, and do active focus while, while doing that. And I really noticed that my vision improved in that kind of dim light. You can also do it indoors 
as well. If you have a night chart, uh, turn the lights down, or if it's dark, just turn on some dim lighting and challenge yourself in the art chart. Again, you won't be as good as you are during the day, so don't beat yourself up about that. Just remember, how do we improve our vision? We use our vision at the edge of the blur horizon, and we active focus, and then bring things into clarity. So no matter the lighting conditions, if we're doing that, we're going to improve, improve our vision a little bit. So it's increment by increment, as I've said before. One other thing with night vision that causes trouble is astigmatism. This can be quite challenging for nighttime vision, but if you're making reductions, again, as I say in my course, only do a reduction of your spherical lenses at one point and cylindrical, which is your astigmatism, at a separate occasion. Never do reductions at the same time in both of them. Only do one at a time. So if you're reducing your astigmatism, reduce by a quarter of a diopter, then make sure you follow what I talk about in my program about how to uh, reduce your astigmatism. It's not the same as active focus. You've got to learn a little bit about what astigmatism looks like. Identify what a stigmatic blur is as opposed to spherical blur. Just a brief summary of that here. Your spherical or myopic blur is a blurriness around the edge of an image. So say we're talking about this picture frame here, you have a blurriness just going around the edge of it and then you have to focus and that will become clear. With astigmatism, it's more of a double vision or a ghost image that happens. So you would see the picture frame and then there'll be another image just offset. Like a ghost image, usually fainter than the, the main image. That's what astigmatism looks like. So as I say, I've detailed how to fix this or go about remedying this in uh, the Eyes on the Prize course. And it's what I used to reverse the bit of astigmatism that I had. This month is probably going to be the last month for a little while that uh, I'm going to be offering five free Eyes on the Prize courses. So make sure you sub subscribe to my newsletter if you want to be in with a chance of winning that. The workload is quite high at the moment with subscriptions, so I'm going to take a break from giving away any free uh, courses. So make sure you jump in on that if you want to try and win a free course. The course will still be available, links in the description below, but I'm just going to take a break because the workload is quite high at the minute. So best of luck with the competition. I'm going to finish the video with something a little bit different today. Uh, I made a Halloween themed uh, piece of music so I'm just going to tag that on to the end of the video with some uh, accompanying images. I hope you enjoy it. If you're into metal music it'll really hopefully do something for you. If you don't like metal music then maybe it's best to skip on but um, yeah happy Halloween to everybody and I hope today's video was informative and helpful to you. See you in the next episode.